Oh, I knew it! Hello, welcome to the Metal Gear Remake of Episode 9! Yee! Woo! So, ladies and gentlemen, indeed, last episode was my continuation of reacting to Remake of Life because I reacted to Episode 1 and then you know, from Episode 2 to 6, I watched it my own time because, well, you know, them discussing art projects and stuff like that. I wasn't really much of a fan of reacting to that sort of content, but then, you know, I've been told the second half of the season from Episode 7 onwards is where things get a bit interesting. I mean, I can see that because, oh my god, Episode 8, man, the last scene is just one hell of a plot twist, man. Like, what the hell? he went back to the future now but at what cost he changed the future he fucked up the future for most of his you know, housemates i guess and of course you can say kill ya now he may have a dream job from what i can see because you can see the way he lives and stuff like that but of course he has a wife aki now so team aki anyone yay victory for her of course but still though it's quite a painstaking situation where we get to see that if i kill ya i just witnessed something very very sad that he ruined the future for you know one of his good friend and most importantly he literally Actually, make Aki became his wife, which he did something along the way. I mean, what did he do? There? Okay, can't we see how those two became a thing or something like that? I mean, they, we know they're a thing, but I want to see those two, you know, mate and stuff like that. But still, man, they have a kid now, so I do wonder how Kyoya reacted to this because you know he, his memory still kind of fresh with the future and stuff like that. And you no, know, apparently that that sensei, the senpai, is the one controlling the future and past. But still, though, I am quite curious to see how this is gonna go now because Kyoya is now trying to adapt to the future, which he had no idea about. So, oh man, things are about to get really interesting. So. With that said, let's get started, actually, shall we? I mean, I still can't take it seriously that, you know, he's marrying Aki and have a child. Like, how old is she? Like, two? I gotta say, Aki sounds almost like Kaguya now from Kaguya-sama. <laughs> I mean, same voice actor, of course. Hey, at least this is a much better future for you, okay? At least this is a much better future than the one you had not long ago. Why 2018? Maybe, you know, that's when Mayu gave birth to Maki, and that's why. <laughs> Who knows, man? I gotta say, her daughter, his daughter is so energetic, man. I gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta appreciate that, man. Oh, so you guys moved back to Tokyo. Wow, okay, moved to Tokyo. Uh-huh. I mean, at least he has like a solid job now, rather than like working like part time, I guess. Oh, oh, right at the task, man. Right into work. Lol, typical Hasekawa, of course. Oh, yeah, they're sleeping together. Hey! Oh, that is so nice, man. Oh, wife Aki. Yes! Very vulnerable position, too. You gotta appreciate, man, being a husband. Team Aki, everyone. Team Aki, everyone. Team Aki for the victory. Oh my god, she made Ben jump her into. Oh, this is just wife at the next level. It, wait, she's not working anymore? Okay. I'm pretty sure he will mess up big time because, you know, he doesn't really know what the hell is going on. He literally just got Isekai back to the future. Dude, he's actually working for a very famous developing com company. Damn. He landed himself a big job. Oh, damn. <laughs> well. Seems like these people are working hard and he just stay home. <laughs> hey, oh, how wholesome, man. How wholesome. He has a picture of them. Hey, co worker. Oh, ho, ho. Man, she's a klutz, I guess. So, subordinate working under him. Fair enough, I guess. At least he got subordinate. Yep, there we go. How's the Gawa, man? Oh, we we'll keep working together again, man. <laughs> I mean, at least she have her hair, like, kind of different. <laughs> how she can handle it i mean i mean obviously man he's like the best person back in university's day so that's where she trusts him with his project well it seems like they're meeting like one of the like uh freelancers i guess because usually freelancers work at home maybe because she trusts hashiba that's why she reacts to him that way i guess because he's like a reliable person or he can do that like send her an email up front <laughs> wow nice Oh yeah, that's true though. Girls need to get ready. Oh, smart! Hashiba, of course, man. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn, she's... I gotta say, she's cute. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Yo, now that is an outfit to be wearing to your producers. Okay, so she's an illustrator. A freelancing illustrator with a lot of followers. Not bad though. So it seems like she's like going to be the main illustrator for the next upcoming game project. So she's important. 
Oh, know how to do negotiate with her. Ah, I see what you're doing here. Negotiation. <laughs> oh, oh, she hit the she hit the wall. She hit the wall, man. She hit the wall. Yeah, that happened to illustrators a lot. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. She hit the wall, man. She lost her creativity. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Wait, yo! It, no way, is that? Oh no, okay. I gotta say, for the case they say Aki's drawing or something. I don't know why, that drawing looks almost like my senpai, Lamau. <laughs> and because of that, she's inspired again. Oh, and because of that, Hashiba may get her back on her feet. Nice one, man. Nice one. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me, it's Aki. Don't tell me. See, she's inspired to draw again because of the compliment that she did there. That is called good PR skills, man. That's got good good PR skill. Uh, typical kids doesn't eat their vegetable. I mean, I was one of them too, so understand. I understand this pain. I got it, man. This is too wholesome to see, man. Aki and Kyoya get married and have kids. Dude, this is just pure wholesome, man. Oh, no. The reaction from her face is saying that Oh my god, don't tell me. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I fucking knew it! Oh my god! Oh my god, of course we're gonna get the ominous BGM. Dude, I knew it. I could retire from drawing. No wonder she's like not reacting properly to his words. And seems like Aki has indeed hit the wall and now she retired to become a wife. Wow. Wow! What the hell? I know, she retired from drawing and become a housewife. What did you do? What did you do, Kyoya? Well, I gotta say, he's a very demanding president, man. He's a very demanding one. And he trusts, he's like he trusts Kyoya with his with the jobs. Okay, these two are closer than ever did before, I guess. Never like go their separate ways. <laughs> Oh my god, Kyoya, you're being very smooth right now. Oh my god, she's blushing too. Oh my god. Dude, you're married! Ah! I know, right? She has nice, such a nice wife. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, because she had to step up her game, man. She had to be a wife now, so she, of course she needs to like step up her game now. Well, the only difference is that she has a new hair. Maybe something happened along the way, make her like compliment her hair maybe. I mean, she still get the top position though, but you know, she's, that shows how hard she works. Yo! Hey, what? Okay, so she has became a uh, singer, huh? Wait, last time? What, what do you mean by last time? Oh my god, she hit the wall? What? She hit the wall? Wait, she lost her purpose in singing? Like, maybe because of the fact she lost a person she, like, she cared for, I guess, that's why. Well, wow, since that Shiariki has indeed not became a light novel writer anymore and became what he's doing again. Wow, it seems like he's really taking the bullet now. It seems like all the people connected to him got their future messed up. And what the hell happened to him? Is he like drunk or something? Yeah, it seems like he really fucked up the future for his well, housemate, I guess. Oh my god. Don't sleep in the trash area for God's sake, man. Oh my god. Uh, now you need some wife comfort, man. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. He's drunk. But he needs some wife comfort right now, man. Oh. Oh, gay. Wow. Damn. He's really going for the feelings, man. So I guess this is story time. Like, what, you know, she did to quit. Oh, really? So they keep on making games. Damn. So they've been carrying out the passion project. So basically, she lost her uh, passion. She lost what she intended to draw, what she feel like, what she wants to draw. Oh, okay, I understand that. Uh, I knew it, man. She lost her passion for it. Let's not play the game game. Oh, that's why Aki's best girl. She's nice. She's understanding. Oh my god. Oh, so I can see where she's going with this. You keep on phrasing her. And stuff like that, it can get a bit too saturated. Okay, so she have a lot of pressure. Oh, hey, hey, Aki, nice. Oh, just tell her to calm down, dude. Calm down. It's all in the past now. Let's just 
face the future, but you still need to apologize. Wow. It's such a beautiful moment, man. Man, I gotta say, man, I really, really felt his pain. Like, literally, he fucked up the future for all three of them. Like, we all, we know what happened to Shiragi. It seems like he became maybe the doctor that he's been forced to become. Or, and, well, you know, Aki gave up drawing because she lost her passion. She lost her focus. She lost, how to say, she got the pressure too much on her because, no, she wants, you know, um, you know, uh, Koya to continue to praise her, and that's why she just lost it. So I know what she's going through, man, and I really do because, like, it, it, when, you, when you do something, like, something entertaining, uh, creative arts and stuff like that, you, you really need like the passion, the the shows like the objective and what and your how to say your creativity. But if you've just been constantly being told to do this and that and this and that and being praised before because you did something for them, you don't really have your own individuality into the, the thing you want to draw. And that's why she lost it. And that's why she gave up drawing and became a wife. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good thing that she became a wife for Kyoya. And of course, Team Aki started, like celebrating like crazy last episode. But, you know, just Kyoya, you know, in Kyoya, he feel responsible for it. And of course, Nanako, she also retired from singing to another creative side of things. You know, she lost her will of creativity her individuality for the song she have no one to sing for and that's why she lost the focus and that's why she retired from singing so yeah Kyoya and you know he had he he has a much better future of course you really saw from episode one he was suffering from unemployment um depression and stuff like that but in this one he has happiness and he got a good got a good well-paid job in fact what I can see a very well respected position too and most importantly a very loving family a, a, a two a two years old daughter and Aki so a wife Aki of course so yeah I mean you can see this scene right here I mean I love this scene right here man like you know sometimes you just need a wife to comfort you a very loving one to comfort you after a hard day of work I mean of course with Kyoya finding out what he did like back in university which has like a domino effect to the other two too what he his actions what cost them their their how to say creativity in their field it's just like he just really feel like he should not have gone back in time and done something like that but what can you do man like you know like aki basically doesn't draw anymore so she just she's happy to be a wife you can see that she's happy being a wife but Kyoya feel like she, he's responsible i mean he is really kind of responsible for it but he felt like he should have done something um, to make sure Aki keeps on like carry on her growing passion and stuff like that. But she lost it because you know she just doesn't really have the inspiration to, to draw something anymore, and it it really hurts, especially for that for creative side of things. You need individual creativity to help you carry on your you know job and stuff like that. But if you if you just been forced to do this and that, you are just gonna lose track of what you want to do, and that's what happened to Aki right now. And of course, Nanako too and Shirayuki just felt like he's not he's nowhere near Kyoya's level. <sighs> I mean, yes, Kyoya got a very happy future. He has he has a very respected uh, unsupportedness and colleagues and people trust him. That shows that his hard work from university really pays off. That people respect him for what he's doing and stuff like that. But yeah, still though, he he really felt like this is the future that he may want, but also he he just he feel like he that he damn did a huge damage to other people's future too. I mean, except for Hasegawa though, she has a very yeah, she still has a high pay position of course, but you know for the for his housemates though, he feels like he really fucked them up. So yeah, I mean, I can I can really really see where this is going, man. Like you know, Kyoya just really feels like you know because of him. Those people that he looked up to, the people that he inspired, you know, with the what he mentioned from episode one, are now basically gone because like they're just because of, because of him, he forced them to, you know, derive away from their passion and stuff like that. So I mean, obviously he's trying his best to support them, but sometimes being too supportive can can have a detrimental effect. I mean, it's a kind of weird thing to say, but it. It really do happen, man. Like, I've been through this process before, man. I, trust me, guys. I've been through this process with, with my YouTube content. Like, at one point, I just feel like quitting YouTube because, like, reaction is just getting too saturated. But, you know, I, some, but sometimes you just need to punch yourself and keep on doing it. So, yeah, I mean, for Kyoya's case, I do wonder what he's going to do now. Whether he's going to find a way to go back in time. Hopefully not. I want to see Aki. Do you, want, you do want to see Aki sad, do you? You want to, like, I mean... Here's the thing, what, what, what do we say in sports? Just suck it up and deal with it. So, yeah, I mean, 
it's just done and done though. I mean, knowing the clichedness of this story though, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Kyoya will want to wish to go back in time and do something differently. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna do something differently, man. Oh my god, man. I have a feeling that Kyoya is gonna find a way to go back in time again. Like, dude. He, he, the, 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 yes, he may be happy with the situation he has, the, the happy future he has, but he wants everyone to be happy. And that is the thing about Kyoya. He wants everyone to be happy. So he say, yep, this is the future that only I'm happy. So anyone else that I'm friends with is not happy. So I need to do something about it. I'm pretty sure that will be next episode, like where he's trying to find ways to go back in time and do redo everything again. But we shall see, man. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed my reactions. Smash the button and I'll see you guys next time.